Hey guys, I just want to show you a quick little hack I made so that I could check the depth of the sludge in our septic tank um, before I waste money maybe calling a, um, a service to come out and pump it before it was required. Uh, this It's called a sludge judge or a core sampler, a septic tank core sampler, and I made one just like the pros use, except it's lightweight DIY and costs about 10 bucks. Uh, let me show you what I did. You guys may have seen these um, sludge judge slash um, core samplers on Amazon or if you have a plumbing supply place or if you're professional. Um, this one is a DIY knockoff, costs about 10 bucks and works works well, especially if you're in a pinch and you just want to see how much sludge is in your septic tank before you call a service to come pump it. This will this will do it just right. So this is an acrylic tube. It's uh, used for fluorescent lights. Uh, this is particular one is an eight foot. There's also a four foot, but that probably won't do it for you. And you can even see that this is usually where the fluorescent light um, prongs, uh, electrode prongs go through. So it's real simple, just the full size, full length tube. Uh, it's got the caps on both ends. And all I've done is I've cut the cap on the other end. I've left it in <clears throat> because a ping pong ball works really well as a stop. Uh, but the ping pong ball is just smaller than the ID of this tube and it'll go through so I left in this cap on the end and I used my um, Miter saw just to just to cut the edge right off just cut right off the edge of that and uh, Cleaned it up a little bit to get all the burrs off and then I just took a, a string that I had a rope that I had and drilled a hole in this ping pong ball, thread it through, tied it off in the end, and then put a little hot glue just so it would hold. <clears throat> and I just tested it out. Uh, it works pretty well. It holds a good seal and works just like the pros. Now, of course, this is not a pro grade. It's a thin, uh, a thin acrylic tube. It's, you know, it's a little bit janky, but uh, it works, works well and it'll get you through a few uses if you just want to check and see what your level is. So I'm going to have my Son here, hold the phone so I can demonstrate how it works. So YouTube videos out there about how to access the septic tank and how to get one of these tools in there. Um, I'm going to go over just the simplest part of it. Mine is an in-ground, and you can show down here, buddy. Mine is an in-ground, uh, well, all septic tanks are in-ground, but mine is fully covered. So I had to dig up to get to the access to the manhole, uh, which I've done. And here's my pile of dirt over here. Um, took, you know, I don't know, 30 minutes to dig that out. Um, <clears throat> you'll see on the top, they call it the uh, scum layer. And it is kind of a crust. And I've moved some here already, so you can, you can already access the water level. And you'll want to do this, clear it so you have clear water. But um, if I hadn't, it's, you know, it's like this, uh, this film of material that's, that's quite thick. It's like the, I uh, understand, it's like the soaps and the uh, oils and fats that go into the septic kind of congregate at the top and then the solids, your human waste goes to the bottom, that's not liquid. Um, <clears throat> so just make sure you make a path to put this through, take a shovel or whatever and spread that out. And it's pretty simple, just like you would an official sludge judge. Make sure that the ball or the stop is apart and open and you put it in to the water slowly take it down and I just did this so my sludge is a little bit um, stirred up at the bottom so you take it down nice and slow and I can feel that I'm in it now <clears throat> and then you pull the rope tight and you have to lift, lift up just enough that the ball you have to lift up a couple of in inches so that the ball can snap into the bottom and it just did it had a little pop and you feel it on the string you do have to hold the string as you pull it up and out. But you pull out this column of water. Make sure you can see there at the bottom, buddy. So you can see on this one, I've made marks every 12 inches. I, you could do it with a Sharpie, but I did it here with the, uh, I used the Sharpie first and then I used electrical tape to make my, my notes. And you can see that I'm a little above 12 inches. Um, it's about 14 inches total of the, there's about 54 inches of water. So 12 out of 54 inches. And I, I understand the rule of thumb is something like 25 to 30 percent of the total water height can be sludge. So I'm getting close to where we're going to have to have this pump soon. That's it. Thanks for watching.